Hello friend, welcome to Dari Marana YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing about plain bulkhead and corrugated bulkhead. So, according to the construction, there are two types of bulkhead, mainly plain bulkhead and corrugated bulkhead. So, plain bulkhead. Plain bulkhead consists of plates stiffened or by a rolled section such as bulb plates and angled space by approximately 760 mm apart. So, plain bulkhead means it consists of plates, they are stiffened by rolled section such as bulb plates and angle space approximately 750 mm apart. And the thickness of plate are generally thickest at the bottom because of maximum hydrostatic pressure experienced there and thinness at top because hydrostatic pressure is less there and, it, and in the top it should not be less than 6.5 meter 5 millimeter thick and the plates of bulkhead are laid in a horizontal direction. Okay. Plain bulkhead means it consists of plates stiffened by rolled section of section such as bulb plates and angle space approximately 750 mm apart. And thickness of plates are generally thickest at the bottom because of maximum hydrostatic pressure experienced there. And the top generally not less than 6.5 mm thick. And the plates of bulkhead are laid in horizontal direction. And if the depth of bulkhead is great and horizontal stringes are grids are, are fitted as well as vertical grids with place and tripping bracket. So if the depth of bulkhead is great, then the horizontal stringes or grids fitted as well and the vertical grids with face plates and tripping bracket will be also provided. Okay. Where the depth of bulkhead is great, we say horizontal stringes or grids will be fitted there because as well as vertical grids with face plates and tripping basket, bracket will be also provided there. So in the depth, that is in the bottom, hydrostatic pressure, static pressure will be the high, so their bulkhead will be also great, there will be providing horizontal stringer or grider and along with vertical grids with face plate and tripping bracket, so this is also be provided in the plain bulkhead. Now in the corrugated bulkhead, corrugated bulkhead means corrugated plate is stronger than flat plate, it is subject to bending moment or pillar load along the corrugation. So corrugated plate means it is stronger than the flat plate when subject to bending moment. So corrugated plate is it can withstand that pressure. Corrugations or swedges are found on the corrugated bulkhead to eliminate the need to fit the vertical shifter and the and in those of plain bulkhead. Okay. Corrugations or swedges are formed on the corrugated bulkhead to eliminate the need to fit the vertical shifter as those in the plain bulkhead. Okay. Corrugated bulkhead means corrugated plate is stronger than flat plate when subject to bending moment. Or otherwise it will bend. Here it will not it can be set in corrugated plates. And corrugations or sweat jets are formed on corrugated bulkhead to eliminate the need to fit the vertical shifter in those of plain bulkhead. And corrugated plate is stronger than flat plate without stiffening is subject to bending moment or pillar load along the corrugation. And corrugated plate is stronger than flat plate without stiffening is subject to bending moment or pillar load along the corrugation. Elimination of vertical shifter results in saving in steel weight and cost of shifter. Then angle of corrugation is about 45 degree. Okay. The corrugated plate is stronger than flat plate that I said because it can withstand that hydrostatic pressure otherwise with the flat plate will behave bending. Bending force it is they cannot withstand much. So without stiffening is subject to bending moment pillar load along corrugation. So here corrugated plate can withstand the bending moment. The elimination of vertical shifter also results in the saving in weight as steel weight and cost of shifter. So the elimination of vertical shifter it will help in this reduce the weight and help to reduce the cost. So saving in steel weight and cost and the angle of corrugation is about 45 degree. Normally 45 degree is the angle of corrugation. And troughs are vertical on transverse bulkhead but must be horizontal on continuous longitudinal bulkhead which form the part of longitudinal strength of ship. So in the transverse bulkhead the troughs are vertical and must be horizontal on continuous longitudinal bulkhead which will form the part of longitudinal strength which will increase the longitudinal strength of ship. And diaphragm plates or horizontal stringes, horizontal stringes are fitted on the bulkhead to keep the corrugation in place. So diaphragm plates or horizontal stringes are fit, fitted to keep the corrugations in place. So thank you.